So now the metaverse is becoming a reality and companies like Facebook are talking openly about the metaverse. How can we get involved and take advantage of this new reality? Let's talk about it. Hi everybody and welcome to Smee Talks. Thanks for interacting with the channel, for your support. My channel is quite new and all the likes, all the comments, all the support you give me is much, much appreciated. I tell you something, I'll talk openly about this. I don't think there has been a more exciting time in technology period. The new opportunities that will be presented to us in the coming few years will be live changing probably if we if we look at opportunities that come in a lifetime i would say bitcoin was one of them and it's my biggest regret that i didn't get involved in bitcoin 10 years ago even though i work in the sphere and in technology and i did hear about bitcoin but i thought it was a gimmick and i regret this today if, if i try to to explain the metaverse or the augmented reality that will take over the world really it it's it's a presence that we consume it's a type of data a visual type of data that we will consume through a device through hardware but the the difference is this data will be a present a representation of actual places actual people actual assets brands identities that have real presence in the real life but also new realities that never existed which are pretty much similar into a game you start from a point and you keep building up until you become mega rich in that world you become a super you know a player with superpowers etc the the mechanisms of this world the metaverse are not being finalized but I'll talk about how we can involve in this common uh, reality. If I can give you a case study or a use case of how the, the, the new metaverse can manifest itself. If we look at a football stadium, if we look at Real Madrid, one of the you know biggest, if not the biggest cl football club in the world, my favorite team. Back in the day before all of the lockdown, I used to travel and pay for tickets to go and watch them, uh, especially for Classico. I've been to three of them, I believe, in, in Cam now, Bernabeu, and, and the tickets cost you about £1,500, like £1,500. Um, which is very expensive. I used to be like this. I used to spend money in this way, which obviously now I don't. So if you think about the stadium, where the seats are, and Real Madrid to place sensors around these seats, that view the state, view the game, get the audio live, and allows the people who would be in that seat to look around and consume all this experience through a device, through the metaverse, where you are uh, actually viewing the game live from your home, but you're not watching TV, you are actually present like you are sitting in the actual game. Uh, you're not getting any breaks, you're not getting any gimmicks, you're not getting commentary, you're getting the same experience. What Madrid can do, or any football team for that matter, they can uh, lease that seat annually like they do now. You have season ticket holder um, and they sell it into that metaverse, into that platform, into that presence. Someone will buy it and then that person they can go and sit and watch every single game or maybe they can lease their ticket for particular games so they can get income themselves real madrid will get a percentage the network that real madrid uses will also get a percentage most likely it will be a, pl a blockchain service whether it will be a centralized something that real madrid build themselves and I'm using Real Madrid as an example, right? Or they use something that's more, you know, more widely used, such as Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, Solana, one, one of these existing uh, blockchain technologies. Because with the metaverse, I tell you this, it will not be exclusive to Facebook, by the way. It's not a Facebook thing. Facebook may lead the space, but we are going to end up with one unit that talks to each other. Or maybe you have different metaverses that interact with each other like the internet. 
So your money, which in most cases may be crypto, or it would be crypto, you can use across your achievements in these different metaverses. You can take them with you and repurpose them and reuse them. The assets that you have. At the moment, for example, NFTs, the non-fungible tokens, um, which is the ownership of a digital asset on a blockchain. Basically, that's what it means. Whether it's a meme, whether it's a tweet, whether it's a picture, whether it's a movie clip, whether it's an audio, it's something that you own completely. And you, you can enforce your copyright on that uh, asset on that particular blockchain. The, the issue that we have now, we don't only have Ethereum. We have multiple blockchains and multiple blockchains have their own NFT platforms. They still don't speak to each other. On the metaverse, they will be speaking to each other. There will be that interoperable uh, environment. There will be that exchange of data and type of information. There will be a live bridge between all these different identities. It's, believe me, there will be so much, so much going on. For us now, we need to understand what are the things, what are the skill sets, how can we get involved ahead of time? And the first thing um, I think will be quite popular on demand, 3D art. 3D art, I think 3D artists who've been underpaid, uh, mainly really, so you, 3D skill sets being used for uh, TV work, movies, ads, uh, digital campaigns maybe etc and also for gaming and if you look at their wages it's really bad it's really they're really bad they paid badly uh, for the skills that they bring into into you know into the production that they do into multi-billion pounds of, of dollars of industries now these artists can produce assets that will be utilized in real life metaverse life right and they can still get income from this so if you do a shirt you know a branded shirt and you sell it and people will use it in the games or maybe they use it on the social uh, you know you know like you've seen with Mark Zuckerberg the way he was moving you know going between sets between uh, into different parties changing his clothes all that stuff you can have now a brand on the metaverse that do their own style of clothing and people who can do this will be 3D artists, people who do 3D modeling, textures. Uh, I'm not sure about the animations yet though, you know, like rigging and, and, and doing animation coding. That's still to be seen, to be known. But having involvement in the 3D side of things will pay off when the metaverse start to become more and more widely used. Other thing is hardware. And probably this is more for investors and, and people who are into investments. Um, looking into companies that do hardware that supports the metaverse, you know, like the Oculuses of the world, the VR uh, of the world. Now, you would think you would have, you know, a smart glasses um, that's really practical, stylish, that you could use on day-to-day -day basis. Uh, maybe you get some sort of displays that, that display data for you in real time from the metaverse. So the metaverse, it's not really, it's not only going to be about games. And, the, and and I think that's where people are getting confused. It's about bringing everything together. It's about even your real life, your job, your messages, your emails, your exchanges, your files. The, the, it's not only about gaming. I think the biggest challenge is going to be for businesses and, and, and for large organizations for them to grasp the idea and take advantage of it. It's not only going to be about uh, the meetings and the meeting rooms. That That's probably going to be the start, having people meeting together, collaborating, moving between rooms, and like Facebook or Meta showed in their uh, Horizon product, this is going to expand and expand and expand. If someone likes to use Zoom and someone likes to use Teams, is there a reason they can't speak to each other and interact? The, I think the, the final goal of the metaverse will be a platform or application agnostic existence. 
you could use whatever is available to you and get it to speak to each other. And that's actually what the blockchain and the decentralized applications within the blockchain um, technology is trying to bring to us. The easiest way probably to get involved is to invest in cryptocurrencies for apps and technologies that will work and provide services uh, within a meta framework however be careful from scams and be careful of i've seen quite a few of videos on youtube these are the top five coins that will take the meta world by storm uh, i to be honest with you it's still too early on you might get yourself a gem that will change your life it's possible Especially, I've seen some uh, projects where they already started to replicate life and life on Mars. Uh, we have the NFTs uh, already. It's being shaped up, and I'm sure uh, probably within the next couple of years maximum, the, your NFT can be transferred easily through a bridge uh, between different blockchains. But also, these blockchains will understand... Um, that you own this nft and i think the problem with that is without getting too technical is is these wallets if you have a wallet on ethereum that wallet doesn't mean anything on cardano vice versa if you have a wallet on address on polka dot polka dot at the moment doesn't mean anything for ethereum and the nfts are recognized through the wallet that you use but I think all of this will become a reality very soon if you are someone who is technical and willing to learn technology and dev, blockchain dev is the future, I think. I think, to be honest with you, I'm too old for me to start learning uh, new program languages. I'm not even the biggest fan of programming myself. I don't see myself as a programmer, even though programming and, and dev, it's, it's especially this kind of uh, technology is the future now. So if you have the willingness to sit yourself down and learn, that definitely is something worth getting into. I think now, for the next five years, we need to stay up to date, follow the news closely, see what the opportunities present themselves, and get involved. Me personally, through my channel, and hopefully by then, you know, I'll uh, have a, a more wider audience, and uh, my word can reach out the majority of people, hopefully with your help. But I'll speak about it. I'll keep up to date myself. I'll see where the technologies are heading. Me personally now, I am looking at uh, blockchain projects. I am looking at cryptocurrency projects that may get involved with this. But this is, is, there doesn't make sense for me to speak about it because I'm not 100% sure. So for me to come on, on this channel and start giving you ideas that you might take and not work for you is not fair. And that's not something that I'm about and that's not something that I'm willing to do. I, I think I rambled for quite a bit but I, I've given you quite a lot of ideas that I really hope that you take it on board and get involved and not miss the new opportunities that are coming our way. It's not one opportunity, there are loads and loads of opportunities that are coming in and I hope um, I'll pick the right ones for me and for you uh, without missing out like I did and most of us did when Bitcoin came and to the early reddits and the early forums and, and the internet and people changed their lives uh, through Bitcoin. Hopefully that would be us in the next few years. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to see you in the next video. Take care for now.